Welcome to this ANSYS how-to series video for Grant to EduPack. In this video, we'll be introducing the browse function in the software and how it can be used to explore the structure of the databases and the organization of the data within. To begin, let's start with the level one database. When the software opens, the homepage appears. Grant to EduPack homepages show the different data sets or data tables that are present in a particular database. In level one, we can see the material universe and the process universe are available. Let's explore the materials universe first. When we select a data table in the home page, the browse pane opens on the left hand side of the screen. Alternatively, this pane can be opened with the browse button in the main toolbar. This pane shows which data table and subset is being browsed. Here, we're browsing the material universe and all materials. The folder tree structure shown is used for all data tables in Grant to EduPack. We can see the material universe folder level records here. Ceramics and glasses, hybrids, metals and alloys, and polymers and elastomers. These folders contain the individual data records for the materials in this database. Let's say we're interested in investigating aluminum alloys. We would open the metals and alloys folder followed by the non-ferrous subfolder, and then we can see individual material records, the top one being for aluminum alloys. Records can be opened by double-clicking on the record name. Let's now look at the process universe. To switch data tables, click the table drop-down menu at the top of the left-hand panel and change to process universe. If you already know which subset you're interested in, this can be changed here. Alternatively, you can change data table by returning to the home page and clicking on Process Universe. The Process Universe has three folder level records in its structure joining, shaping, and surface treatment. If we're interested in learning more about injection molding, we would open the shaping folder, the molding subfolder, and finally, we can see the injection molding record. Again, records can be opened with a double click. We have now investigated the data tables found in the level one database. Changing databases, we can see that the level of detail also changes. For example, level one has one record for aluminum alloys. Level two has three showcasing differences in processing. And level three has details for over 300 individual grades of aluminum. It's important to choose the correct database and level of Grant to EduPack, depending on the information needed. Additional data tables, such as producers, references, and topic-specific data can be found in other databases within the software. In this how-to video, we've explored the structure of Grant to EduPack and how we use it to browse the software. More information about Grant to EduPack can be found in the description below. Be sure to check out our channel for more ANSYS learning videos, and thank you for watching.